Hello everybody. Um, I think I'm recording. I'm just making a video right from... Yeah, it is. Alright. I know I only have... Let's see, what am I up to? 40-some subscribers on YouTube. And, um... Several on BitChute. I'm going to put this on both platforms. Um, some of you that resubscribe to me on YouTube, you know, you're going to know who I'm talking about. But I got an email from Marella. And I hadn't put up a video asking for any help for her in quite a long time. So, she's very worried that she is not getting any help. For this month and it's already passed halfway through she had to move a couple or three months ago she was getting a, a it was two rooms and a kitchen i think for 300 now she's in a two i don't understand it's got a bedroom there's a bathroom and there's a kitchen and the boys are sleeping in the kitchen that's how they live down there in Ecuador. But it's only 200 except the sink doesn't work in the bathroom. She's blessed to have it. She feels blessed to have it. I had a whole column of videos on Morella on my other computer. And I had many, many pictures I could have shown. But because they started that thing about kids and being... We needed to be more careful about showing children. Is this for children or not for children? YouTube people will know what I'm talking about. I didn't share the pictures, but I had them in my pictures. And along with everything else, they're gone. This is a real person living in real poverty. And if you don't know the background, which on BitChute you won't, she was one of those mail order catalog type brides. She lived in Romania, grew up there, went to the uni a university there, probably perfected her English because she writes beautiful letters, or used to. Now that she's just so depressed, we don't hear those anymore. See them, I should say, in email. This woman needs our support because her husband who went over there to Romania to answer the ad well they've been writing back and forth you know how it is people have the ads they tell a little about their self the guy tells a little about his self they agree to you know exchange communication she agrees to meet him he goes over there and after a two week courtship she marries him he brings her to the United States. Now she's a U.S. citizen. This was over 10 years ago now. Well, the ha little house with the white picket fence that he promised her? No, sir. No go. He had an 18-wheeler. And she slept in the back of that. But only when he did. Because she was married to be his work partner. She had to keep him awake. So he could drive the truck. That was her marriage. But they went on to have two babies. Imagine having two babies and an 18 wheeler. They sold that thing and went to Ecuador. Thinking the cost of living. He, he made all the decisions. She had no voice. She had no voice. And if she tried to talk about Jesus, tell him to repent, they needed to make their lives right with the Lord and uh, study the Bible together, whatever. Uh, they just had an argument, you know, so she had to learn to just keep her mouth shut. I know how that is. My first marriage was similar, but I didn't get driven around in an 18-wheeler. He worked somewhere. Anyway, the point is, long story short, they end up in Ecuador. He finds out, yeah, the housing's cheaper, but it's pathetic. If you want a nice house, it's not much cheaper than it would be up here in the States. 
So he takes all but $230 and flies back and leaves them there. This is true. I know it in my spirit. I've been trying to help Morella now since those boys and her... She ended up with two other ones. That's the story. She finds a guy named Salvador who agrees to help her raise her boys. Because she was trying different things, spent all her money, didn't know what to do. She didn't turn to the Lord. Okay, let's face it. We didn't all start off as perfect Christians. I sure didn't. I was an adulterous whore. Had three, three husbands thinking I had to have a husband. After I married the third one, I realized what a mistake. I needed to be crying out for God, for Jesus to be my, my husband. He is now, and I know why he stayed with me all that time. I always loved him. I just thought I had to have a mate. Okay, well, so she hooks up with Salvador, and they had got pregnant before she could recover and get out away from him because he didn't like her boys. They were too noisy, too active. Little boys now, they're little boys. He wanted her to send them off to a boys' school and just have her and their child to their self. Before she could leave, he got her pregnant again. It's very hard to say no when you're dependent on a person and your place to sleep is with them. I know. Believe me. I know. This is why I have feelings for Morella that I, I can understand somewhat, but I cannot understand this situation. She cannot work because she can't get a green card, what we call a green card, because... She tried to go to Peru to find work. Her passport expired. She's stuck in Peru without a passport. Didn't even have any paperwork from Ecuador. So she had to pretty much illegally go back to Ecuador where it was a little cheaper to live. And uh, anyway, somewhere in there she finds Salvador. I, I don't remember that part. I'm asking you for your help for this lady. She needs $200 a month rent. She has four children now. Salvador has the two babies because she just could not put four babies in one bedroom or the little girl. She has a little girl and then a baby boy, which they're not babies anymore because this has been going on for like five years now. So we're like 10, 8, 6, and 4 maybe. Maybe three, five, anyway, three, five, seven, nine. I'm not sure. But Salvador puts them in daycare. He does do a good job, but he's sick. He's, he's an older man. He was 65 at least two years ago and had uh, man cancer, <laughs> you know. And I don't know what they were giving him. I, I, I don't know what he was taking, but apparently it's back. And so we're looking at four children here. The, the their equivalent of DHR was making her pay him $200 to keep the two babies that were his. Crazy, messed up situation. She tried to go through the Oklahoma courts to get her ex-husband who filed for divorce so he could marry another catalog bride. Yeah, they had a baby right away, she found out. So, he's probably dumped her already and went on. I don't know. That doesn't matter. The point is, Oklahoma, he's friends with a judge in Oklahoma who somehow has gotten him out of paying anything. And I got an email from a, like a, what do you call it, a lawyer's helper, um, legal aid, I think, who was sent to spy on her to see, because he was telling the judge, she got, she got all the money and gave me a few hundred to get back to the States. So, 
he was sent down there to spy on her to see if she was living high on the hog because they got a lot of money for that trailer, that 18-wheeler. Well, no, he finds her living in abject poverty. I think that's the right word. With the two little ones. And he... I don't know how did he... I guess he must have seen my video asking for help. And I gave my email address and my PayPal account because I heard from him. And I made a video about it to prove to people that it was not a lie. But you take this to the Lord. And if you don't get a check in your spirit, see, I, I think a lot of people just, they're afraid, they're, they're afraid of being taken advantage of. Believe me, I am too. I'm leery and I'm cautious. But I really feel that this woman is telling the truth. I've gotten pictures of Salvador with the two little ones. I got I got pictures regularly of David and uh, um, Timothy. That's the two boys that belong to the American man. He's an Amer American Romanian. See, he was from Romania, made his way to America, and then wanted a Romanian bride, I guess to speak the same language. I don't know. I don't know about that part. But my PayPal information, you can't use my regular email. It's JLM with the number 4, H-I-M, at att dot net I'm asking you to remember whatsoever you do for the least of thy brethren that you do unto Jesus alright I'm not going to preach like I have in the past you either feel led to give or you don't but I ask you to take it to the Lord. If he's telling you to, ask him, you know, he'll give you a number. A lot of people I know are out of work. And have just helped me. And I hope you don't mind, but I shared mine already with somebody else. But see, I'm so behind in my emails. Because I was weighing Morella or this other person. Morella or this other person. And the last thing I had gotten from this other person sounded very desperate also. So I sent it to her. Part of it. Okay. Not all of it. I know y'all, when you give me a love offering, it's for my needs. And believe me, it helps. But see, you see me. You know me. You know what I say and what's in my heart. And so it's real easy to trust that if you're giving it to a person that needs it or that, that will at least do what good with it. That's how I feel about Morella. So for any anybody else that can, please go to paypal.com and click on send and use that email address. I'll put it in the description box. Okay, that's all I have to say. I'm going to stop this recording and hope this goes up. And that the Lord will help, will cause, that the Lord will come through for her so she doesn't get evicted. <sighs> 